This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Toyota. We love games on Techzilla. You know, we really like really amazing graphics performance, which has us as an AMD's booth. People are talking about Mantle, Battlefield 4, performance, realizations. You know what? We've got a developer to talk to right now. Techzilla Bytes, we're feeding your tech hunger fast. This is Dan Baker, a partner at Oxide Games, and you have been implementing Mantle. What do you think? Uh, we're excited about Mantle. We're excited about the, uh, the future of gaming. And, and so far, everything that, that AMD has claimed about Mantle has been been not only uh, proven, but in fact conservative for what we've seen and tested. So the demo that's running right now on your engine, it is incredibly complicated. What's going on? Uh, so what we're showing here is a massive uh, simulation of an RTS. This isn't a canned graphical demo. This is actually two AI opponents playing each other in a real engine uh, simulation. We built this internally to see how far we could take the PC. And one of the really neat things we can show here is that uh, Mantle is, is able to keep up with a huge amount of, of activity that we've going on. If you see this um, this demo, you'll actually see up to 5,000, even more. I think right now we have 7,000 spaceships all fighting each other. And everything has got its own AI, its own uh, physics. Everything is independent. Um, and we can do all of this. And with Mantle, we can even do this on an underclocked CPU. So we decided to take an 8350 and just half its clock speed. And we're still completely GPU bound on the fastest GPU. Now, I asked before, it's like running right now, I think it's like around 30 frames per second with Mantle running. What happens when you turn Mantle off and go to regular, you know, uh, DirectX playback? So when we go to DirectX, um, you can end up with some frames that are a little bit too slow, and we have to back off on some of our graphics fidelity to try and back off on what we're asking the GPU to do. And the really sad thing for us is that we're not backing off in our workload because the, the graphics card can't keep up. We're, we're backing off because the driver can't handle the extra CPU cost. So as the man that's sitting with a keyboard in a dark room making the code, how hard was it to actually implement Mantle? Mantle's not terribly difficult. It took us, and by us I mean me, because I was the one who actually sat down and plugged the keyboard in in the basement and then typed it all up. Uh, it took me about two months to, uh, to pour our engine into Mantle. We originally developed on Direct3D, so this, this, we're highly optimized in Direct3D and get way more perf out of Direct3D than, than virtually any other engine. We're very proud of our performance, but when I plugged in Mantle support and we kind of flipped that switch and watched it go, it was amazing how fast it was out of the box, and we haven't really done a lot of specific optimizations for it. Dan, thank you so much for your time. Have a great CES. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage. We want to thank Dan and Oxide for talking to us. We want to thank you for watching. Do us a favor, go to youtube.com slash techzilla and subscribe or techzilla.com where we'll have all of our CES 2014 coverage. LG, Samsung, some amazing new printers, 3D printers from MakerBot. It's all there, youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com. I'm Patrick Norton. Thanks for watching. We're going to go find more cool stuff at CES 2014.